How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Aruni Mastery Guide here today. So first things first, if you guys have watched previous videos of mine, even if you haven't, go click on a previous one, listen to the audio, then compare it with this one. I want to know what you guys think about this new mic I got. Don't know if I should be keeping with it, sell it. I can't decide for myself, so please help me out. You guys are the ones that listen to it as well. So I appreciate that. And moving on forward, my upload schedule is a little messed up right now. I just, you know, sometimes Siege, I need a little bit of a break and currently i'm in that break stage so whenever i have only one to two videos a week i'm just trying to keep it consistent here so you guys know the deal new operator equals new operator guide from me i like to do them even before they come out obviously i'm still on ts here don't know when he's she's actually going to be coming to live service but a rooney with her surya gates that is the operator we're going to be covering today so we're of course going to go over what we usually do and we're going to start off with the loadout then go into the gadget and then go into the primary gadget all of that and then i'm going to hop into a custom game and show you guys a few cool tips and tricks. A Rooney is really rare because you can actually kind of do a lot of different things with her, a lot of different roles with her, and you can even kind of bandit trick in a way. So if you guys are interested in that, stick around and we're going to get into the best loadout first. So the P10 Rooney is the gun of my choice. So I'm going to give you that loadout first. And then we're of course going to talk about the MK14 because of obvious reasons. But for the P10, I like the hollow, the muzzle, and I also like to put on the angled. You're gonna want the angled on this. The recoil is very minimal here. You could even put a compensator on here, but I just like running muzzle on most every gun I have. If you've seen my attachment video, you would know that. But this weapon ADS is so darn fast compared to other weapons, and you will notice that instantly. So the P10 is the primary I'm gonna rock with, and then the MK14 EBR is the second weapon that you could rock with but personally i'm not a big dmr fan but this is the only dmr that is on defense i mean technically the only dmr it's the closest thing we have to a sniper and it had the 3x for a minute there but they brought it down to 1.5 times it makes a lot of sense they could of course change it but the higher it goes just put on the highest scope possible if you're watching this down the line and they have a 3x put the 3x on please i doubt it ever goes up to 3x but maybe a 2x sounds reasonable and uh put on the highest one you possibly can as for everything else, I like the vertical grip. I'm not trying to quick ADS anyways when I'm with this, so it's fine for me. Works out fine, but I don't use that gun anyway, so don't take my word on that. Take my word on the P10 Roni here. And then for your secondary handgun, the PRB92 is the only weapon choice here, and you have the muzzle break, and that's obviously what you want to rock with on that pistol, but you also have barbed wire or a bulletproof camera as your gadget. So this loadout is really stacked. I love it for roaming. I mean, a 2-2 operator is not the best ever, but the p10 for roaming it reminds me of a lot of mozzie or if you just want to do a shallow roam that's what i prefer to do here and then of course i'm going to show you guys how to do the quote-unquote bandit trick sort of with the rooney kind of surya gate trick as for your gadget with the rooney you have the surya gates you're going to have three of these as the description in the game says laser generating device sets on walls or entry points that deactivates after damaging gadgets or opponents and is reactivatable so there's really no way to really destroy these unless if you have like a hard breach grenade, something along those lines. So you usually don't want to waste it on that anyways. Instead, you're just going to want to deactivate it and run through. So it's going to stay active for the most part. And if they're on the right side, they're going to destroy any gadgets that touch it. So that is where we come into contact with the whole bandit tricking deal. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that on a custom match here. So let's hop into that real quick. All right, guys, so we're hopping into a clubhouse match. So we're just going to show you real quick on what these lasers can do. So I'm just going to shoot one up here on this wall real quick. So just for example here, lasers obviously do appear. Whenever you step inside of them, they will disappear. So whenever we get to the tricking part, anything that falls along the side of this side, it will be destroyed. So a grenade, a thermite charge, anything that sticks on this wall enough to be touched by these lasers. Now, the cool thing about this for examples here is if you stand on the other side of a wall and it has a hole for say, I mean, say there's a mirror there or something, you could stand on the mirror on the other side where this isn't, where the lasers are not, and it will still deactivate this. So the main thing with this is once you step away from it, say they put a thermite down on you, it will destroy whatever goes on the wall and they can't destroy it because uh, except if they want to waste an ash or a Zofia or grenade on it. If they don't, you have a perfectly viable bandit trick, not bandit trick, but an alternative, but it really only works whenever you can be standing on one side of the wall. So it's a little bit different than bandit, but it's still, it's the same exact concept. So that's pretty sick about it. And another thing that's pretty sick about it 
It's how many you could stack upon each other. So for example, I could stack both of these on each other and I could double it, or I could double trick. So if there's a th thermite, a, uh, an ace and a Habana, for example, I could be standing in the middle of them and then I could back up and then it's tricked just like that. Other than that though, I know not everyone's gonna always wanna be active or this is pretty situational in most points and you're not gonna actually need to do it. But if you do ever feel the need to, you could put this on any door or any window. So keep that in mind here and you can pick them up as well, just so you guys know. So once you have them on a window or door here, the only way they're gonna get through this door is by, of course, going through your lasers. So if they go through your lasers, they're gonna take damage and it's gonna hurt, or they're gonna have to waste utility on it once again. So another double meaning here is it could be worked as like an ADS, for example. That may be obvious to a few, but a lot of people just don't know about all the hidden tricks of it. Now, this isn't just immune to attacker gadgets. If if your teammate throws an impact through the laser, it's going to de deactivate as well. So you got to watch out for that. You got to keep your teammates intact there and make sure they don't screw with your Surya gates. But other than that, guys, there's a few more things that are really sweet about this operator. Now, one, for example, is punching. Okay, so punching is a lot different than any other operator, a lot different than any milling operator. I don't think anyone else really punches like this. The closest operator to this that does anything like this is Oryx, who takes damage. So obviously Oryx ticks an L here, but this opening up this entire wall, as I did right here, took me about 10 seconds, I believe. Uh, I mean, you'd have to count it to actually get the exact number. But it took about, I mean, 10, 15 seconds just to open an entire wall up as as big as an impact or even bigger than an impact grenade. So this is huge. Pairing this with your surrogates, that's even bigger. And this punching can be used for so many things. You can create crazy delusional, uh, delusional walls here just by punching in a bunch of different random spots. And once you do things like this, you're also able to one punch gadgets and other things of that nature. So you're able to one punch a castle door. So say you're trying to get through a castle door, you're gonna be able to punch it just like you could punch a normal barricade. This is something that needs to be looked into. I mean, sad castles, honestly. If a castle put up all those barricades, you could literally just walk up and punch every single one. And it's absolutely insane. But anyways, guys, in my opinion, a Rooney is OP meta. I'm going to use her a lot, especially with the P10 Rooney. I love this weapon a lot. Just look at the ADS time. Absolutely insane. You can come around a corner on ADS and still be okay. So from a PC player standpoint, this is awesome. As a console player standpoint, it's still awesome because fast ADS time is good for anyone. But yeah, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. I appreciate you all for joining me. Hopefully you have a fantastic weekend, weekday, whatever day you're watching this. I hope you have a great one. I appreciate you all. And as for everyone, if you're playing the test server right now, bro, this glitch or this whatever is back now where you can only where you have uh, only the, the center dot. If you guys want to try it out, I'm going to show you guys real quick what it is. So uh, this originally was found by to kill absolute beast. But um, other than that, he found this originally. He showed everyone. So you could pick, make your thing white, put it to 20 and then go general and uh, go to preferences, wherever that is, interface preferences. And then once you are there, you guys need to go down to your crosshair and turn that off. And then you won't have a crosshair or anything here. And you'll just have the center dot. It's absolutely OP. I mean, I love it. I don't know why they took it out in the first place. It's not really like unfair. It's just something I enjoy. And they probably see that most monitors have a center dot anyways. And you can just turn everything off. But I like to be legit here. And I'm glad that they put this back in. But anyways, guys, for all of you that stuck around to the end, you got that little tad bit. I appreciate you all. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out, boys.